Hello, hello. This is the July Wraith Rain newsletter, where I'm going to tell you the news for July. Here's what we got. Books and audiobooks. Not too much to report here. Cinders and Ashes 4 is in progress, but there's not a ton to report until we get closer to September, which is when CNA 4 is actually coming out. The audiobook for Cinders and Ashes 3 has been out for a while, so that's all done. And as always, the book has to be done before we send it to the audiobook people. So there's always going to be a delay between the ebook and the audiobook. I don't even know when the actors are booked for Cinders and Ashes 4. I'll have to ask Braith, but I think it's closer to November. And let's look on the schedule. Well, last month, just a few days ago, in fact, Wraith launched Labyrinth, the new serial story. And so far, she's gotten some great comments from members. I do think, though, that a lot of people are just kind of hanging out until there are more chapters. And I totally understand that. I'm one of those people that won't even buy the book one of a book series unless I know that the series is done or going to be finished soon. I don't really make many exceptions for that. So I'm totally one of those binge readers. I will say though that the three chapters of Labyrinth that are up are over 12,000 words. So there is a big chunk there. And this month there's more coming. Three more chapters, but not until the end of July because it mirrors what the story order was for June. We had a lot of fun with the Labyrinth launch. We had so much art in the bank and we got to do this sort of art tease on the Facebook and YouTube channels. And we've never really done that before because I don't know, Wraith is like, okay, the serial's done. I'm just gonna roll out a new one. But this time we decided to make a big launch of it and people seem to really like it. And we got some beautiful illustrations out of it. So. I'm hoping that the next serial that's going to come out, we get to do that too. Takes planning though. <laughs> so we have to plan. Yay for art. Anyway, the Dragon's Reign podcast is happening on the 10th and 24th. This is the members schedule, not the YouTube schedule. So there will be two episodes on the 10th and two episodes on the 24th, unless something like goes really wrong, like Wraith loses her voice or something. And the live reading of Empire of Stars is on the 17th. And on the 31st, there will be free audiobook codes, as usual. I'm not sure what the book is. Wraith will have to see what's available, and we'll let you know. So free stuff. We're doing some Merman this month. Book one will be free from July 8th to the 12th, and book three from July 22nd to 26th. That's really the end of the official business. Like, that's all we got between the new serial on the schedule and Wraith uh, doing Cinders and Ashes, that pretty much takes care of July behind the scenes. But during June, we got some really great fan art. Here is the first one. Amai did this, Empire of Stars illustration of Jace and Koth. Bonnie did this super cute fan art of Caden and Iolair from Dragon's Reign. And Eleanor, submitted two pieces of art, but they're both kind of raunchy, so I'm not going to put them on YouTube. Instead, you can find them in the actual newsletter on the main Wraith Rain site. I'll put the link in the description and also in the Discord, where there is actually a lot more art. I don't go in the Discord and just pull art off of it to share here because I mean, for one thing, I'm, I'm not really active on the Discord, and I don't know, I, I kind of like to get explicit permission to do that. It just seems, like, rude. <laughs> so if, you know, you do something for the, this fan community, and then all of a sudden people will be swooping up and posting it on YouTube. So if you are a fan artist and you definitely want me to post this in the newsletter, either on YouTube or on the online version, like, let me know and I'll do it. Otherwise, I'm not going to, I'm not going to post. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it. 
it feels really short. I always feel like I miss stuff, but I don't think I did this time. So that's the news as far as I can tell. And I will see y'all next time.